Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating fragments. But before proceeding with that, first we need to understand what is fragment and what is the difference between fragment and activity. So, a fragment is a part of an activity which represents a portion of UI on the screen. In simple language, there is one activity and inside that you can have multiple fragments. It's kind of like a sub-activity. Then the main difference between a fragment and an activity is that an activity represents a single screen while a fragment is a portion of an activity. Also, fragment has its own life cycle as well. So whenever an interviewer asks any question about fragment, then always explain it with an example. Like you can say the same process happens at bottom navigation and navigation draw, right? Only the fragment container is replaced with each other while bottom navigation and navigation draw remains as it is. So in this video, we will be creating two buttons. So when the user will click on the first button, it will lead him to the first fragment. And if the user will click on the second button, it will lead him to second fragment. Simple, right? This is a simple fragment project just to give you an idea of how fragment actually works. Also, there are multiple ways to create fragment like with the help of navigation component or fragment transaction or maybe using a frame layout. Okay, but for this video, we will be going with a very common way that is using fragment transaction with fragment container view. With that said, let's create the project. Choose empty views activity. Then click on next. Name it as learn fragment. And then click on finish. Let's do the prerequisites. So go to colors.xml. Press ctrl plus t to duplicate the line. Name the color as blue. And hex code as 1A90F1. Then next, name the color as yellow. And hex code as FFD230. Now go to themes.xml. Uncomment the line. And write the color as blue. Then duplicate the line. And write the item name as color primary variant. Again duplicate the line. And write Android status bar color. And that's it. Now go to build.gradle app. Here we'll be adding view binding. I have already explained it in my previous videos, but still I'll explain it in short. Remember, we used to write find view by ID in main activity to initialize the element, right? It's kind of increase the code length and also very boring to do it for each and every item, right? So instead, we have a better solution for it that is using view binding. So all you have to do is write view binding and inside that enable equals to true. That's it. Then sync now. So now you don't need to write find view by ID. Instead, you just have to mention the element with binding. I'll explain it in more detail in main activity. Okay. Now let's move on to activity main.xml. As I previously said, here we will be creating a fragment container view with two buttons. Okay. So let's do it. We will keep constraint layout as it is. Then give it a padding as 16 dp. Inside constraint layout, we will create a fragment container view. Keep the width and height as 0 dp. So we usually keep 0 dp when the element is dependent upon the constraint. Then give it an ID as fragment container in camel case. Then add all the necessary attributes.
we haven't created button fragment one yet but we will create it now so keep the width as 160 dp and height as 60 dp then the id is button fragment one and add all the necessary attributes Again, I have not created button fragment 2 yet, but we will create it now. Keep the width and height as same as previous button. Then give it an ID as button fragment 2. Then add all the necessary attributes. And it's done. This is how it looks. Now, of course, we need to create fragments, right? So we will be creating two fragments for button one and button two. Okay. So to create fragment, right click on package name, then new and then fragment. Choose blank fragment. Name it as fragment one. And click finish. Similarly, let me create fragment 2 as well. And it's done. Now we don't have any operations to be performed on fragment, right? So we will just redesign it and remove all the unnecessary code, okay? So let me quickly do that. And it's done. Then, as I said, we will remove all the unnecessary code. So, go to fragment1.kt. Let me quickly do that. See, I have removed most of the code except on create view method okay because this is where your fragment is executed and also it's your view layout is present over here similarly let me do it for fragment 2.kt as well and it's done now go to main activity this is where we will attach our fragments with their respective buttons. So I have divided it in four steps. Let me give you a quick overview. So in first step, we will declare all the variables. 
then in the second step we will set the binding then in the third step we will create a go to fragment method and then in the fourth step we will call the method inside the button on click listener simple right so let's do it step by step so step number one declare all the variables so let me quickly write it and then i'll explain you See, we have used two variables. First is fragment manager and second is binding. So fragment manager is a class that is responsible for performing tasks on the fragment, like replacing the fragment, removing the fragment, or maybe adding a new fragment. All of this thing is handled by fragment manager. Got it? Then activity main binding. So I'm currently in which activity? Main activity, right? Hence it will be activity main binding. Now consider that I am currently in login activity, okay? So it will be activity login binding. You are getting my point, right? So it completely depends upon the activity name or the activity in which you are. Students usually do mistake over here that they are in login activity and writing here as activity main binding. That is incorrect, right? Now step number two, set the root binding. First we need to initialize the binding. So write activity main binding dot inflate the layout inflator means it will fetch the layout then set content view inside that i'll write binding dot root means it will fetch the root layout got it root layout has every element present inside it okay now coming to step number three that is our main step here we will create a method which i'll name it as go to fragment So let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you. And it's done. So we previously declared fragment manager, right? So here I have initialized it using support fragment manager. So support fragment manager basically returns the fragment manager. Then as I said, fragment manager have different methods, right? So here we will be using replace method. So entire syntax is divided in three parts. So begin transaction starts a series of transactions. So basically transaction is a set of changes like adding or removing or replacing that can be applied to fragments, okay? out of which we will be using replace method. So it replaces an existing fragment with a new fragment in a specified fragment container, which we created in activity main, right? Then lastly, commit method is called to apply the transaction. So basically it commit the changes made during the transaction, simple, right? Now step number four and our final step that is calling the method inside the on click listener. So as I previously said, we don't need to initialize element using find view by ID. Instead, we will write binding dot button fragment one and see it automatically detects it. Then set on click listener on it. And inside that I will call go to fragment method, which we just created, right? So inside the bracket, we need to mention the fragment that we want to navigate to. So if the user clicks on the button fragment one, then it will lead him to fragment one, obviously, right? Similarly, we will write the code for button fragment 2 as well. So over here, if the user clicks on button fragment 2, then it will lead him to fragment 2, right? And that's it. Now let's run the app. So initially it will show you activity main itself. You can set the initial fragment if you want to. But now when I click on fragment one button and it navigates me to fragment one, great. 
then I click on fragment 2 button and it navigates me to fragment 2 perfect see both the button are at their original place only the fragments are replacing each other got it so yeah that is it for the video if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video